Greetings, 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 my sports to the bone people. Welcome back, welcome back to another video. Yes, my peeps. I'm trying to get this one in quickly in the morning. A uh, couple of things I want to share with you guys. I know we are all going to be tuning into the for uh, the West Indies uh, championship. But before we get into that, a couple of things I want to share with you guys that I actually saw yesterday. So we see where Kimo Paul is heading to the IPL and uh, Alzari Joseph Akil Hussein Shea Hope. They all made significant jumps in their ODI rankings. So we're going to talk about that. Plus, um, the great man himself, Usain St. Leo Bolt, meeting with Sir Alex Ferguson and Eric Ten Hag. So those are the things that we're going to talk about real quick. And just let you go and watch some cricket. Hit that subscribe button, my peeps. Eh? All right, so let's get straight into it. Now, after... A couple of ODI performances. Uh, Alzari Joseph, he let me start with him. He has actually made a big, big jump and he has moved to a career best spot in ODI cricket. He made an eighth spot, well, he jumped eight places and is now ranked at number 11. Yeah, man, he's now ranked as the number 11, 11 ODI bowler. And you know, we just want to say shout out to Azari Joseph, one of those guys that is still showing the passion. You know, he's always um ready to perform for West Indies, always committed, always looking to um bring the passion. So shout out to Azari Joseph and um achieving that ele uh, ranking eleventh in the world where ODI cricket is concerned. Um Akil Hussein, he actually moved up one spot. And is now ranked at um let me see where Akil Hussein is ranked 20th. Yeah man, so Akil Hussein moved up one spot and is now ranked 20th when it comes on to ODI bowling. So a uh, couple of move it moves there. So we just want to say shout out to those players. As I said, these are guys that are always out there um working for us. I mean we only see uh Akil Hussein in ODIs and T twenties. Couple of people saying that he might be able to play to play all three formats, but for no, as of now, he, we only have him in those um two formats. And he has been consistent, man. We have to call a speed a speed. He has been consistent. As much as all oh, there are other spinners out there doing their thing and working to get in, you still have to give a man in props when it do. You understand? So shout out to Akil Hussein. Um Akil Hussein. No, the West Indies ODI captain Shea Hope actually moved two places in the batting rankings and he has moved up from what 14 to 12th yeah man so Shea Hope looking to probably break back into the top 10 he was in the top 10 for a long long time my peeps until he actually fell out so you know that century that he scored just the other day was able to nudge him a little bit and he's now back in the, the the well not in the top 10 but pretty close to it so she hope and 12 rank um 12 and you know we just want to say shout out to she hope hoping that you know he will continue to put in the work because at the end of the day he has taken over a very very tough job and a lot of the West Indies captain that we have seen in the past when they take over the captaincy of this team their performance tend to dip so we're definitely hoping that this will not be the case for Shea Hope you know we want him to continue to perform for us because more often than not when he performs and, 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 and bats most of the, 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 the overs we, 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 we generally end up on the winning side so you know I don't know if I should say we, we generally end up on the winning side but we, we, we give a better account of ourselves let, let me put it that way when Shea Hope is there we give a better account of ourselves so um, looking forward to seeing him continuing his dominance uh, still on cricket Kimo Paul quite a few people have been asking why is Kimo Paul not playing for West Indies why is he not in the West Indies team but I think this man is one of the saltiest um, players when it comes on to injury 
he's always out injured and then when he's fit it he always end up coming fit round about a time when the squad when a squad is already selected or the spot is too hard for him to get in but based on what we are seeing here he confirmed i think it was yesterday or the day before that he's heading to the ipl you understand don't don't think it's as a first team player because we know the draft and all of that went already so when you see the the the, the players announcing like that more often than not if they are not replacing somebody more often than not they are there to to, to be a, a, a net bowler or whatever can make big bucks doing that still you know so I'm not confirming that that is the role that he's going to play because the information that I saw, the, the, the site that I saw this on did not state it. It only said that he's going to the lockdown giant, I think they are called, um, one of the newer uh, teams. So, you know, we're definitely going to keep a close eye on Kimo Paul. He has one of, if not the best bowling figures in the IPL, if I'm not mistaken. I'm almost sure that when he just um, came through at the international level, he took six wickets i could be mistaken but yeah i think he took six wickets for a couple of runs over there in the ipl so he's he's well known he's well thought of um he's well known he's well thought of over there but um you know as i said injury is always an issue for him his pace is getting up there we would have seen him in the last super 50 tournament where he was doing his thing and we would have seen him um also also you know playing the little t20 leagues around the world and things like that so uh shout out to kima paul for 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 getting this little roast as they call it in jamaica i get a little roast you know go and make some cash all right before we hop out of here not staying too long in this one you know my peeps because as you can see morning morning no light out fully yet but we're just trying to get this one in still so the final thing we want to talk uh we see where uh, the West, uh, the Jamaican uh, sprinting king, Usain Saint Leo Bolt, as we know, is a big fan of Manchester United. Um, we would have seen over the weekend where he got an opportunity to meet um, to meet Sir Alex Ferguson, and he also met uh, Eric Ten Hag, the, the current uh, manager for Manchester United. Now he, we, we, we got an insight into what he he, he spoke about with Eric Ten Hag. You know, um, the conversation when something like this, Bolt told Eric, said, um, thank you, Eric Ten Hag. Ten Hag said, thank you for what? Bolt said, for turning us into, um, what did he say? A winning club again or, 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 or a club that can challenge for titles. But, you know, yeah, man, Bolt is one of those guys that he is definitely a big Manchester United fan. So, being a Manchester Manchester United fan over here, being a fan of Usain Bolt, I just thought I would share a little bit on this um, thing. I know quite a few of you guys in the comment section that support the other teams going to say, boy, we winning all the trophies that, do, that, 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 that if you put all of them together, they still don't make one. But you have to start from somewhere. So, we're going to leave you right here. So, for now, my peeps, later on after the four days, after the second day in this fourth round of the West Indies Championship, we touch base again, Zane.